Hey, Governor Phil Scott holding a press conference updating where the state stands right now in recovery efforts, FEMA funding and much more. NBC5 Sid Bule joins us now from the newsroom and Sid, what is the governor asking of Vermonters as they continue to clean up? Well, Alice, Governor Phil Scott wants all Vermonters to report any damages that they've had to 211. Now, that also includes damages occurring after the initial flooding events on July 10th and 11th. Plus, the state wants reports from everyone, not only Vermonters and counties, receiving help from FEMA. If your community is in need, we want to hear from you. The state of Vermont calling on its residents to report any and all damages they've seen in July flooding. As a congressional delegation alongside the state works to secure a USDA disaster declaration, which the governor says would bring in extra federal funding to Vermont on top of the FEMA response. Even if your basement flooded and you've already taken care of it, report it. A few of our counties have not met the threshold for individual assistance, and I know they need it. So please help your neighbors and report your damage. Governor Phil Scott says if the state receives additional funding, it could help Vermonters down the line, especially those who live in counties that have not yet met the threshold for FEMA assistance. I know they need it. So please help your neighbors and report your damage. And at a time when Congress has had disagreements over disaster relief funds, Scott says he's confident bipartisanship would rule in Vermont's favor. Always concerned about the polarization uh, in Congress, um, but but these storms, um, they don't just affect blue states, they don't just affect red states, uh, they affect all states. Especially because Vermont is not alone. Northern New York also facing flood damages in July, too. I know uh, Representative Stefanik is, uh, is looking into supplemental funding as well, right? Um, so uh, we have Senator Schumer, who represents the whole state. So I imagine that they might want to get together. Scott says getting that additional funding will help many in recovery, especially as the state works on a long-term plan to help displaced Vermonters. In terms of homes that may become uninhabitable, because of mold or and something else that happens as a result of the flood, that's going to be a dynamic number that might not we might not know the full extent of for four to six, eight weeks. And FEMA says they're working with the governor on establishing long-term recovery for the state. This won't be a short-term mission for FEMA. We're here for the long haul. Again, all damage should be reported to 211 either by phone or online. And the state wants your reports even if you do not qualify for assistance from FEMA right now because it could help the state as a whole down the line. Live in the newsroom, Sid Bule, NBC5 News.